thanks for tuning in if you're watching uh, the stream or if you are watching the video. I'm just going to check here and make sure the stream is running. Seems to be. Okay, good. So um, we are at Buchan Airport, which is just south of Venice Airport in uh, central, south central Gulf Coast, Florida. I did my check ride. Hey, John, thanks. I did my check ride on Wednesday and passed. So I am now a uh, private pilot, certificated private pilot in the United States and I'm going straight into instrument training. Uh, but one of the things that I uh, did on my check ride that was sort of cool was after doing maneuvers, uh, there's this small airport, Buchan, just south of Venice. And the DPE, the examiner, asked me to go there. Hello, Efren. Hello. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, we did turns around a point on the windsock at this place. And then he said, OK, line up for a downwind landing. And I figured we were going to practice a go around because I've never done what Buchan requires, which is a turf landing, a grass field landing. Buchan is a grass strip. And so I lined up and uh, he said, OK, do a short field landing. And I said, I've never landed on a grass strip before, but I'll go for it. And he was comfortable with that. So we did a uh, we did the landing on the grass field short field, and then we did taxi back and did a short field takeoff. And then I thought we'd be done. And he said, nope, get back in the pattern. So I did it again, and then we did a soft field landing which we then transitioned immediately to a soft field uh, takeoff on the touch and go. And it was very, very cool. So in uh, recognition of that, I thought it would be fun to, uh, to just do a quick hop of the pattern here at Buchan in VR. Um, uh, I'm running in VR because I don't have the, uh, wow, that's weird. I lean my head forward in the People have been complaining about that in the forums with the Oculus right now. There's something with the Oculus software at the moment that makes things a little wonky. I haven't quite figured out what that is. So uh, we're going to do a quick lap of the pattern here at Buchan. That is the plan. And I've got uh, the same weather conditions using Active Sky XP that we had on the day of the exam. So. Uh, Agostino, thank you very much. It was a blast. And we're going to do that soft field and short field landing and transition that we did in the check ride. Trim set, tank to both. This runway is three zero. Let me this is uh, X plane one point three, by the way. I find it's working quite well. Performance has been good here. Just south of two one. And runway three zero is what we've got. So we're gonna do a little touch and go. And uh, this version of Buchan, I just uh, there was a there is a 3D version in X Plane default, um, but I worked on it over the past day or two and tried to improve it. Uh, maybe I need to have this marked as a taxiway for it to taxi. There we go. Seems to be working. 
So this version of Buckin should be in the uh, in the gateway here once I upload it. Buckin itself has tires uh, marking the runway. We don't have tires in X-Plane default, so we've got barrels. Thanks very much. Yep, I put my CFIs in my rift last uh, in the last two weeks also, and they were really amazed by it. Couldn't agree more. And Rhinus, I hope you get that uh, get that rating here. That rating. I hope you get your certificate uh, soon. So this, uh, I worked on this airport uh, just over the last little while this morning. I haven't loaded it to the gateway yet, so this will be the first hop with it. But we'll do a short field first. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looked like. Well, the trees at the end were quite that high, but it's okay. Well. What is going on with the ground steering here? Come on. There we go. Lapse 10. Thank you very much. Sydney, good for you. Go for it. Mr. Full Rich. Okay. Get up to sixty six here. So we do that short field takeoff and it's a lot of fun. And he says get back in the pattern. Rondi, hello. I didn't check the altimeter setting. I can tell you we're not at 100 feet right now. This airport is right up there. Yeah, I'm now a PIC, Tim. That's exactly right. We're reliving a little bit of that check ride here today. And if you missed uh, it earlier, the DPE had me do short field takeoffs and landings and soft field takeoffs and landings at a grass strip south of Venice. And it was cool because I've never done them on a grass field before. So we're reenacting that just for the heck of it here today.
flight model is still not quite right. That's okay. Okay, there's the airport. I modified. Oh, we never put the flaps up. Good thing I didn't do that with the DP. I was wondering why we weren't performing very well. <laughs> Now it's flying, but it's like, man, our climb rate is really not very good. Did I, do I use the rift? Yes, Sneak, we're using the rift. Okay, there's the strip. I'm going to have to download new ortho scenery for this. It's not quite as green as it is, but it looks pretty, pretty close to the real thing. to 17. Mixture full rich. Carb heat we don't have, but we'll put it on if we did. And one notch flaps. Pitch for about 80. Yeah, so I'm thinking this is cool. We're going to do a go around here. Pretty soon I realized we're not going to do a go around here. He wants me to land on that airplane, on that grass strip. It was awesome. X-Plane 11.3 seems to be performing quite well. I'm getting great performance in the VR. Next notch. Turn in final. And we'll go short field. Uh, with super sampling at 1.3, I can see the gauge is just fine. Okay, let's slow her down to about 60. Had this crosswind on that day, too. I downloaded the historical weather. There you go, speed's at 60. slow here. Didn't quite fly like this in the real world. That's okay. And, oh yes, yeah, so let's remember that the, the with full flaps, the uh, Cessna in X-Plane falls completely out of the sky when you take the power out. Which is not very realistic. The REP doesn't do it, but I'm not running the REP right now. I could be. All right, let's text back. This time we won't come in with full flaps, although it's not how you would fly a short field. Yeah, so this flight model is um, quite good, I find, until you go throttle out at flaps 30 in the 172, and then it sinks like a stone. Uh, it's just something you have to manage and plan for. If you fly the real thing, it's uh, it's not the same way that it flies. Everything else is quite real. The REP is better, though, for sure. If you want a much more realistic flight model, the REP 172 is quite good. But we're just in the default right here. Okay, let's configure for a soft field takeoff.
Okay, soft field takeoff. The other thing is when you give a lot of back elevator pressure, once it gets enough air speed, the airplane sort of just jumps right off the turf. Not quite like it does in the real world. Okay, ground effect until we get to 76. Or if you why we'll get over these trees. BX on I mean. it. Uh, yeah, great, great performance uh, in this area, at least in the new 11.3 in VR. Smooth as can be. We also don't have any clouds at the moment. Colin, thanks. Yeah, it was a great day. It was uh, a lot of fun. It was fun flying. I flew myself down there the night before. Spent the night in a little motel. Then uh, went to the strip nice and early. Had some breakfast. Met the examiner. Actually, there was about a two-hour delay, so I actually went and flew for a, while, a little while, which was fun. And just did some maneuvers and sort of you know, knocked a... Interesting how much ball... There we go. Uh, knocked the rust off, which was nice. And then uh, went up with him and did the oral first and then went up with him and did our thing. It was great. So like right here, 2000 RPM, 90 knots in the pattern, that's exactly like the real thing. It's that last bit with full flaps. You take the power out and she drops like a rock. Um, I did, I flew the SR-20. Oh, first of all, Mink, thanks very much. Well, I like doing it, so thank you. I'm going straight into the IFR. I ordered the Sporties IFR course uh, yesterday and started studying it today. So that's the next step. I did fly the SR-20. Um, it was great. I was going to fly it again today. Or I'm, not, I'm sorry. I was going to fly it again on uh, Tuesday, but it has a mechanical issue, so I won't be flying it. But I want to get checked out in it so I can use it. All right. Throttle back. Landing lights are on, mixture is full rich, flaps, that doesn't work well in VR for me, I just am better off using that key, there we go, let's get ourselves pitched for 80, sorry to make you guys nauseous by Looking around like that, but I gotta see where I'm going. Okay, this time we'll do soft field. And we're not gonna go 30 flaps because that makes us sink like a rock.
So soft field, we're going to keep in about a thousand RPM. Maybe with that, let's see how it performs with if I keep a thousand in. So yeah, let's go. Go flaps. Let's see how she performs with that. They didn't really square. I kind of turned to the numbers here. See that has me quite slow. Sixty. Yeah, there we go. Pitch for sixty. That's looking pretty good. Yep, 60 knots. Kick it around at the last second. A little crosswind. That's looking good. Let's we'll see how quickly it drops out of the sky. Just take it down to a thousand. Uh, still, still sinks like a stone. Yeah, that's not realistic at all. Well, that's just part of the deal. Now, this isn't the last version of the flight model uh, because I had modified this and it was pre-final release of 11.3. I'd be curious how the REP works on that. Maybe I'll load it up and we can check out the difference. Yeah, this is a good state to fly in, Pat. Um, it's um, odds of decent weather more days than not, although it can be too windy and you can get awfully, uh, awfully uh, convective in the summer months. So I'm going to quickly load the REP down here, 172. And uh, we'll do a lap in it, and I'm just curious about that last 100 feet uh, at low RPMs and full flaps to see if it sinks as much. This thing just drops like a rock. There's no float, there's no flare. With full flaps, with 20 flaps it's different, but with full flaps it's, it's, it's not, not the real thing. So let's, uh, let's do this real quick, let's change airplanes. I should have REP. Let's make sure it's not my simulator version. Oops. Try one more time, guys. Sorry about that. I've got a version of the REP that I've modified to be much like the airplane that I fly. There we go. 619025. REP, let's start with engines running. See how this goes. Shouldn't take too long to load up. Uh, let's put ourselves actually at the end of the runway. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. Let me get myself kind of set here. Move this back just, move myself back just a little bit. There we go, that's better. Okay. How does my home simulator compare to using the goggles? Um, the goggles are far more immersive, although it doesn't seem believable. That is my experience. It feels much more like flying. Sight pictures are much more realistic. Um, it's a much more realistic experience. Okay, let's try this now and see how the REP performs. Worst frame rates for one. Cost me about 15 frames. 
cost me about 20, 25 frames for whatever reason. And that wind noise, I just can't live with that. I don't know why they do that. Switching to the RAP cost me a lot of frames. Took me from 45 down to 20. That's interesting. Sad. Disappointing. Let me turn off uh, auto synchronous or space warp real quick. Yeah. So yeah, the RAP cost me a ton of frames. Ton, ton, ton of frames. I don't know why it would, but it did. I don't think it would be that frame intensive. Let's see if it chills out. So far it doesn't seem to be. Alright, and this will be the last lap regardless because we need to get on with the rest of our day. Yeah, so um, I'm going to be flying the instrument ratings on Pilot Edge, and I plan to try to do them all in the Rift just to see how it works. Like there, we wouldn't have shot up to 1,500 feet a minute like that, but that's okay. Yeah, huge frame rate problems. Huge, huge, huge. Just from switching aircrafts. Well, this could be a prior version. I mean, this is an earlier version of the 172. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe it's just that it doesn't like all the extra stuff the REP runs while it's doing this. But it cost me 20, it cut my frames in half immediately. So we'll do a very laggy. I know what I'll do. I'll, uh, I'll sacrifice some graphics quality. I also changed my... Everything's very dark now. <laughs> but my frames are higher. I wonder how it looks if I take... Take this all the way to none. That yeah, looks alright. I can live with that. A little jaggy for me, but livable. Okay, we're a little high. It's alright. We'll start coming down. And again, we're looking to see how the performance in the flare is different with the REP from the default 172. Side 110, first notch. And we throttle it back. And we're a little high, so we'll throttle back a little more than we normally would. Pitch for 80 knots. Really wants us to pitch down for 80 knots, doesn't it? There we go. And this will be the final one, and then I gotta go. Once more power here. Turn base. Yeah, the REP flight model I like more, for sure. That's not a real surprise. I mean, I have from the beginning when it came out. But we're gonna see how it does in the in the float. Flare. Now the frame rates are right here on top of this little screen, 38, 42. Oop. We wouldn't do that in the real world. Okay, so we're a little slow here.
flap so we'll see if it flies any different. Get it slowed to 60. There we go, 60 knots. Full flaps. We'll take it down to 1,000 RPM just like we did last time for a soft field and see if it handles any differently. Yeah, much better. This flies like a real airplane. Power in. Keep that front wheel off. Yeah. Okay, much, much more realistic with the REP. Why it cost me so many frames, I'm not sure. I still need to adjust the power curves on my brakes and my rudders to make this thing steer realistically on the ground. But that felt like the real thing. Look how small, the, look how tiny those uh, palm trees are. That's weird. Um, <laughs> thanks, Alex. Alex. Yeah. So when I had when I got my had my examination on Wednesday when I went for my check ride, that's what we did. He, he took me to this airport to do soft field landings and takeoffs and short field landings and takeoffs, and it was awesome because I had never done them before. And doing them was uh, was a great experience, and has opened up a whole new world of things I want to try. Because there are lots of neat little turf strips all over the world, all over the Florida certainly where I live. And uh, now, if they're in good condition, I can like that's that's not that's not a very realistic turn there. <laughs> good lord! Be glad when they get all this worked out. Um, and, uh, yeah, so there you go. So Buchan Airport, B-U-C-H-N, X-36. I'll be uploading this to the Gateway. Hopefully it will be in a future version of X-Plane. And this is where I made one stop along my check ride. And thanks for tuning in. I'm going to start going pretty hardcore to IFR uh, training now. So you can expect that streams in the future are probably going to be about IFR, and I'm going to be making mistakes as I uh, work my way through learning uh, IFR procedures and techniques. Um, I'm always curious what the weather is like when you're in the soup. What I'm, I, I'm, I, well, I'm curious how the headset will perform when I'm in the soup. I've flown some in it, but not a whole lot. Um, maybe we'll just explore that here really quickly. Let's do a quick turn. Let's uh, let's give ourselves some bad weather. This will probably really hurt my frames. Okay, that looks good, doesn't it? All right. Uh, yeah. take off with full flaps. There we go. Right, let's take us down from overcast to low viz. Now we have rain. Uh, Pat, I wear glasses. I wear, I'm wear. Uh, i nearsighted, so I wear them for things far away, but <clears throat> in fact, I have progressive lenses, and uh, they work just fine in the headset. Um, and in fact, you can buy uh, glasses just to for Oculus headsets that I mean, are kind of made to fit inside the, inside the headset. 
So this is uh, Active Weather XP, and we're also running Ultra Weather XP. Uh, we'll see at what point we find the clouds here. Oh, there we go. That was pretty quick through that. Let's turn off our strobes. Okay, so that's a problem. Our weather just... Oh, it's probably because I'm using... Uh, I don't know why. It's because I still have Active Sky turned on. Let's turn it off. Let's go back to having bad weather. See if we can find some good in the clouds here. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? So, you know, this feels like, you know, flying with instruments, for sure. Yeah, the way the ground has started starting to disappear, that's very cool. I don't know the ILS for Venice, I could look it up quickly, we can try to shoot that approach, but let's see how it goes when we get even higher up here. Still sort of see the ground. Clouds going by, that looks very cool. Yeah, see this is very this feels very extremely real right here with the clouds and uh, being able to see parts of the ground and not see parts of others. That's uh, quite realistic for me. Thanks, Ian. Happy to have said that I'm now a pilot. This is where you'd want to use the get the Aztec autopilot working for you. emergency descent. Right on top of Venice Airport. come around and land on uh, 3-0. Well, it looks like we want to land on 0 5. So that's where we're lined up. So we'll do that. Extra rich. First notch.
I think I read the wind thing correct. Now this feels disorienting. This is quite realistic feeling in the VR. Standard rate turns here. Watch our speed. There we go. I never set the altimeter, so we're actually quite low. Lower than what that says. We're not at 600 feet, that's for sure. Actually, a little. There we go. On the glide slope. Pardon the pun. Final flaps. All right, slow it down a little bit. It's about 62, 63 knots over the fence. So as soon as I moved to the to the REP, my frame rates got a lot lower. I'm not quite sure why. Something to check into. But uh, before that, 11.3 was running great. Uh, we can exit here at uh, 11.3 Delta and go down to the Sun Coast Cafe for lunch. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, just some stuff from Bucken where I did some soft field touch and goes on my check ride and to back to Venice and yeah, and, in a, and playing around a little bit with weather. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, as always. Uh, yeah, I got you got the pun. And uh, I'll see you uh, on future streams. And as always, thanks for either checking in or watching online. If you have questions, we might as well tag to the FBO. If you have questions about the sim, you can uh, get them answered at uh, www.onthegladeslope.net. If it's your first time watching, uh, I use VR, but I also have a physical cockpit that I built over the past couple of years. And there's uh, videos here about that and also quite a bit of information on the website, including... Uh, some schematics for how I built the cockpit, advice, uh, settings, and the rest. If you have questions about my graphics settings, if you have questions about my VR settings, if you have questions about the cockpit settings, I'd ask you to go to www.onthegladeslope.net as I have that information all there for you to see. Yep. And uh, for those who have uh, offered a lot of encouragement over the last couple of years, when I first started just with simulation and then decided to try to get my ticket and then finally getting my check ride after moving from Pennsylvania and all the other things that happened along the way. Uh, thanks for your encouragement. It meant a lot and uh, I'm very happy to have it done and I'm happy to, uh, to now be a private pilot. So it's a li license to learn and now the challenge is to uh, be safe and to keep learning and to keep flying staying proficient and not just current. There's the Suncoast Cafe. And we'll flip around here and park. Yeah, the RIP definitely handles more like the real thing. All right, everybody, take care.